In this video, I'm going to have a look at what outliers are, the effect they have on correlation, and when we should and should not remove them or discard them from our data. Now, first of all, what is an outlier? Well, if we have a look at our graph here, I've graphed arm span against height. And you can see that if we're looking at this general trend of our correlation, it seems to follow a positive trend up in here, except for this one point down in here. This one point doesn't seem to follow that trend, and we call that point an outlier. So any point that doesn't follow the trend is an outlier. Now an outlier can have, depending on sample size, can have significant impacts on the correlation of data when we're doing calculations such as mean, when we're trying to find the least squares of regression models, or when we're doing things like calculating Pearson's correlation coefficient. So there are times where we need to really look at should that outlier still be included in our data set? And to answer that question, you actually have to consider each outlier independently and in context to the problem. So here, for example, we've got arm span against height. And this outlier shows it's a very small height. Let's just say, for example, sake, it might've been 10 centimeters with a very large arm span. Let's say for argument's sake, a two meter arm span. Now, if you think about this, how often have you seen a 10 centimeter person walking around? Especially a 10 centimeter person with a two meter arm span. So there are times that we've got to look at this and use our head a bit and go, well, this is probably an error in data collection rather than an accurate, genuine data point. And we would use that reasoning to remove or discard this point from our data. So we've got a stronger correlation when we're starting to do our calculations. Now, if you compare that with the example I've got over here, where I'm looking at the area of a house against the value of that house, you can still see that I've got a correlation between my data points, but I've got an outlier here that doesn't tend to follow the same trend where it's got a smaller area of the house, but it's got a significantly higher value. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we can guarantee that this is not a valid point, a genuine point, or an error in collection. This just might be a house in a prime location where that location or some other factor has in significantly increased the value of the house. So we can't just straight away discredit and discard that point. There are, however, some special situations where if you can reason why you're discarding something that you may still discard this point. And that might be you're looking at whether there's a correlation between area of house and value of house in non-prime locations. But to genuinely do that, you would really need to know that this house was in a prime location. Otherwise, you would still have to keep that point inside of our data here when we're starting to look at any correlation between our variables. So to summarize, outliers are these points that don't seem to follow the general trend of our data here. And they can have a significant effect on any sort of calculation that you do when we're looking at the correlation between these values. Sometimes it is acceptable to just straight out discard values if it's obvious that it's an error in data collection. There are other times, however, where that data point may be genuine. And if you can't prove that it's not genuine, you do need to keep it included when you're doing any sort of correlation calculation. 